Students demanding action. That's what's happening for a fifth day at River Ridge High School in Lacey. Yeah, so they tell us they plan to not only walk out of class, but to march until school officials address ongoing racism and sexual assaults on campus. Fox 13's Dan Griffin live outside the school with students' demands, the school's response, and the latest on a wild few hours yesterday. Hi, Dan. Well, good morning to you. Yeah, today is set to be a half day, but students say they are still going to march and walk uh, out of class today. Yesterday, an email uh, sent to parents said that there was uh, threats of ongoing uh, rumors, rather, of violence and threats. According to that email, the school continues today, though, after Lacey police determined that it was safe. Students have been gathering on the campus soccer field each day. Some have said that they don't feel safe on campus as nothing is being done to address some of the issues. Just last month, a video captured by a student showed a River Ridge basketball player being called a racial slur during a game. Hundreds of kids say they've reported these ongoing problems and the district isn't doing anything about it. The school says these walkouts are not sanctioned and they are not excused absences. I had about 200 kids raise their hand yesterday when I said raise your hand if you have reported racism or sexual assault to the school district and they did nothing. 200 hands. So we know people are reporting it. It's not just Ridge students, it's Thur North Thurston mm -hmm. and Timberline. There's parents and families, there's allies who and like past graduates who are coming here to support us. It's coming here because they've they've been wronged by our district and our administration because what they have what we're experiencing and what we're standing up they've experienced but they didn't have what it t like they didn't feel safe enough to do what we're doing now and these students are standing up for what they believe in. They say they want teachers and staff to get equity and sexual assault training, among other changes. We know the WIAA, the Washington Interscholastic Activities Association, is an organization with a mission to create fair and equitable playing conditions. They have now launched a website where people can report discrimination. And so far, the district has not given us a direct response to the students' demands, but they do say that this is not a sanctioned event. We've heard from some parents who actually said they're going to take action to make sure that these absences are approved. Reporting live, Dan Griffin, Fox 13 News.